All right, so here I am at turnitin.com. What I'm going to do is going to go to the login section. So here I'm going to use the Googs to sign in. So I'm going to click this and then choose my OCSB account. Then I'm going to click agree. I agree with the user agreement. And then I'm going to actually make sure that I go up to the top corner and choose instructor. You can see that I have a few things here. Um, you are looking for the Ottawa Catholic School Board. So depending on license that you may have had in the past, this is going to impact where you're going to go. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to add a class. So I'm going to click that puppy. You create classes in order to differentiate between your English and your history classes. The enrollment key is the password that the students will use to get in, and the rest of it is just superfluous information for to turn it in. June 20. So, all right. So there I am, and now I have created. So we're gonna need this information again when we're gonna give this to our students. So maybe one of the things that you wanna do is um, um, grab that information on a screenshot. You can also copy it because you're gonna use it in the workspace later. All right, so now you'll see that my class has been created. Here it is, Challenge and Change. So I can actually go in here to edit if I forget what my enrollment keys are. So that's all the information there. So I'm going to go back here and I'm going to click on uh, Challenge and Change. All right, so I'm given a new table. So now I'm going to add an assignment. So this is actually what the students will submit their documents to. So I'm going to give the assignments. So this is going to be um, deep thinking. All right. So I'm going to uh, allow for check similarity rates. And then I have a start date and end date. So I can choose those by clicking my calendar. And I can even include a time. So when I finish and I'm happy with that, I'm going to hit submit. And I can see that it's here. All right, one of the ways to use a combination of HAPRA and this third party tool and actually be able to identify when the students have submitted their work is to create a card in the evidence column. So it's gonna be turn it in and there's your class enrollment information. And then I'm gonna put the link to turn it in.com here so that the students have no excuses and they can find it. Again, it gets a little card at the top and I'm gonna hit done. And the reason I'm going to do that is now if I switch over to previewing this as a student, what they're going to see is that they can start the activity, okay, and then they can go over here and join, turn it in, and then it's going to come back to submit, and then they're going to have the submit, which means that you're going to start seeing them populate here, and you'll be able to kind of keep an eye on who, who's there, and it also integrates with the rest of the work we're doing, as opposed to um, having to go to turn it in and watch the integration there. All right, so now I can see that I have two students who have actually submitted their assignment. So I can view. This allows me to see how much similarity these two uh, essays have, very different topics as well. Um, but now I can actually go about um, uh, clicking on the assignment and starting to read.